Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What's your name? Linnell. Linnell? All right, I'll pray. Hey, so what we're doing, as you already see, we're out here teaching our people that we got to come back to God's laws, we got to uh, learn our nationality, and we got to keep His commandments. We, we got to know who we are. We got to repent. So the next thing that we have to do is we, we have to put away the wickedness that we've been taught by this world, like the officer was teaching, and we got to keep God's commandments. Give me Ezekiel 30, uh, 18, verse 30. You go to church? Occasionally. What has the church taught you as far as getting into the kingdom of heaven? Not much. So do you know how to get the kingdom of heaven? You heard it Keeping the commandments. What's that? Keeping commandments. That's right. We got to keep the commandments. But the churches don't teach us that. So with that being the case, a lot of us in these Christian churches won't get the kingdom of heaven. Unless we repent and we have the opportunity. Read that scripture. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 30 Therefore I will judge you O house of Israel If you notice the Bible doesn't say I will judge you O world It says I will judge you O house of Israel That's the so called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans No other nation Read Everyone according to his ways Everyone according to his ways His ways is keeping his commandments His ways is your work that you're doing in the kingdom Read, saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So what does it mean, Lionel, to repent? Do you know what that means? How do you repent? Because that's another thing that the church teaches. We got to repent and confess Christ as our Lord and Savior, accept them in our hearts and we're saved. But the Bible don't say that. The Bible says, why call ye Lord and don't do nothing I say do? So what does it mean to repent to you? Like I say, just keeping the commandments and uh, trying to abide by God's law. Give me Psalms 19 verse 7. We're going to show you according to the scriptures what it means to repent. Because it's not just a word you say, it's something you do. Read. Psalm chapter 19 verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. So first it says the law of the Lord is perfect. That means if you want to be perfect, Lionel, you got to keep God's laws. It's that simple. Read. Converting the soul. It says it's com it converts the soul. So do you know what it means to be converted? It means to change. Like you said, it means to change, which also means repenting. Because repenting is changing. It's going one way and turning around and saying, oh, that's, that's not the way I want to go. Let's go the other way. So if the Bible says the, uh, the gathering of his people is supposed to be on the Sabbath, which is Saturday, you stop going to church on Sunday and you do it Saturday. That's repentance. If the Bible says that you can't eat shrimp, pork, crab, and lobster, you stop eating it. And you go to eating fruit foods that are clean according to these scriptures. Read. That's right. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the Bible says that the testimonies, which is his word, is sure, and it makes wise the simple. We are simple. God, God is calling us simple, but his laws make us wise. That's how we get the kingdom of heaven. Give me Matthew 9. Well, go back to Ezekiel 1830 again, and read the bottom half of the Bible. And read 31 as well. Read that again. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his way. So again, everyone according to his way, according to his commandments, read. Saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. 
So the Bible says, turn yourselves from all your transgressions. Do you know what transgressions are? What's transgressions? Okay, give me that in uh, 1 John 3 and 4. Then hold and go back to Ezekiel. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. Because we're going to find out that transgressions according to the Bible is breaking God's laws. Read. The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So for all those that say that uh, God's laws are done away with, the Bible says that if you sin, you're breaking his laws. Meaning, are, are we not all in sin? Do we not sin? Do we not all sin? What does that mean? We're breaking God's laws. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So it says sin is the breaking of God's laws. So transgression is breaking God's laws. You understand that? So go back, read that again. Right where you was. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be your ruin. So iniquity, which is sin also, won't be our ruin. Because right now we're ruined as a people because not keeping God's laws. That's why we're getting shot down the streets. That's why we're killing each other. That's why all nations hate us. Because we are the children of God and God wants us to keep his commandments. Read. Verse 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart. So it says cast away all of your transgressions. So that means everything that you're doing that's not according to the scripture, that's not according to God's laws, you got to cast it away. It, it goes from celebrating uh, uh, New Year's, uh, Valentine's Day, uh, Fourth of July, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of those are transgressions against, against God's laws. Because God says he gave us holy days to keep. The Sabbath being the main one. We got the Feast of Tabernacles. We got the Feast of Dedication coming up. Those are, those are the holy days that we should be keeping, not these holidays of America. Read that part apart again. And make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Why will you, you die, O house of Israel? Why will you die? Right here? Why not keep God's laws and have life eternal? Bring it up. Why not? That's what we are living for, right? We don't want to die. We want to be in the kingdom, right? Give me Matthew 19, verse, verse 16. These are the things that we have to do in order to get the kingdom of heaven. And it's only for the children of Israel. Do, do you believe that it's for everybody? Or do you believe just for, for God's people on the sign right here? What do you believe? Thanks for everybody. We're going to put that one too. Of course, the scriptures going to read. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So he asked him, What good thing shall I do to have eternal life? That's getting the kingdom of heaven. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So this is Christ making a separation between himself and God the Father. He says there's only one good but one. Read. There is none good but one. That is God. So that lets you know right there that the so-called Trinity is a lie according to the Bible. There's, there's one God, there's one Son according to the scriptures. Read. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. If you want to have eternal life, you got to keep God's commandments. You know, Revelation 22, verse 14. you got to keep God's commandments if you want to have eternal life. Now, we're going to prove to you that according to the scriptures, it's only meant for the, for the children of Israel. It's not meant for the white man. Okay, let, me, let me ask you a question. You see this sign right here? What, what na nation of people did this to us? The white man, right? And then what did he do once he... Uh, captivated us, uh, brainwashed us, uh, and caused us to lose all of our heritage. What did he do? Right, but what religion did he teach us? It's right here. He taught us this man's religion. There, nobody, no great, no, no nationality of people that does this to your people 
can teach you how to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. It's impossible. You understand that? Read that scripture again. Uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. The Bible says you're blessed when you do God's commandments. So if you're not keeping God's commandments, you're not so-called blessed to Christian church like they, like they say all the time. The Bible says you're blessed when you do it and you read again. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. It says that they may have right to the tree of life. So in order to get the, the kingdom of heaven, in order to have eternal life, you gotta be keeping God's commandments. There's no other way around it. Now you made a statement, you said that you believe that this is for all people, but it's not. Have you ever wondered, of all the, 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 the races, the, the, the nationalities in this world, why is it just one main race? the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's treated so badly. Have you ever thought about that? Why? I mean, it's just us. Bring it up. There's no other nation that gets treated like us. There's a reason for that. Why is the white man not being brutally beat down on the streets? Why the white man, the Chinese man, got somebody got their, got their, uh, their knee on the man's neck? Got it pulled out for his mama to why he died. Why is that happening to us? Any reason. I'm going to prove to you from the scriptures is because we're God's people. And God's waiting for us to wake up. Not no other nation. What uh, Chinese man do you see shooting shoot each other down the streets? Is it them or is it us? Uh, give me a, uh, give me, um, name of two verses. But you are talking to the scripture that it's because we are God's people and he's waiting for us to repent. We. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel. O you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have Hold I... Hold on. It says you only. It didn't say all races of people. Read. Say, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Of you only have I known of all the nationalities of the earth. Only Israel has God known. Are we saying that with our mouths or did we just read that out the Bible? That means that is true. That's thus saith the Lord. Read. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. We just talked about that line now. Who's being punished? We, we're being punished. God just said he's going to punish you, Israel, for all your iniquities. We're still being punished until this day. But we have an opportunity to repent. And we can do that. It's, just, it's, it's, our, it's a mind thing, though. We got to change our mind. We got to repent. Now, give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Because according to the scriptures, we're the ones being beat down. We're the ones cursed. We're the ones hated of all nations. The Bible says that would happen to Israel. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So uh, this is Moses talking to Israel once again. It says it shall come to pass if we won't keep God's commandments. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. It says that all curses will come upon Israel and overtake Israel. Not the white man, not the Chinese man, not the African man. It says Israel will be overtaken with curses. Are we not cursed? So according to the scriptures, that's us. So God's not coming for everybody. Christ is not down the cross for everybody. We always want to say, uh, well, we were taught that, of course, by this man, by, by the white man, according to uh, Sebo here, that God loves everybody. Right. But that's not true according to the scriptures. Give me Matthew 15, verse 24. No. If, if, uh, if, if, if God came for everybody, 
Why didn't God, why didn't Christ choose other nations to be his disciples? Bring it up. Why are all the prophets Israelites? Bring it up. That should uh, ring a bell. Read. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay. Um, when you ask most people their nationality, what do we say? Uh, the so-called blacks, who spend their money. What do we say? I'm an African American. They say, uh, they used to say we were black. They used to say we were Negro, we were color. They used to say that we were what? What else? What's something else? They call us niggas. Yeah, African Americans. Coons. Coons. Read it again and put some emphasis on, on the word lost. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost. The lost. We are a lost people. We don't know who we are. We say we're from Africa and we're from some tribe, but we don't know what tribe. If that was true, we don't know who we are. So if there's any people in this, in this world that's lost, it's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And Christ is saying right here that those is who he came for. Read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's you. That's all of us. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It's up to us to realize that and change and come back to God's laws. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.